Welcome to Let's Learn BI.com. Let's go over input controls for BO uh, XI 3.1. This is a new feature that BinSoft just added going from uh, XIR 3.1 and onward. Uh, to demonstrate this, we're going to create a WebE report using our eFashion universe. All right, uh, now let's add some random dimensions. So, year, quarter, state with some anything from store details and products and uh, nope I'm not gonna put anything in query filters maybe here and let's select all these years for now now let's add the state so we're gonna create a prompt for states and let's refresh let's say we'll pick this uh, these six uh, states and if you get the data right away Let's remove the title to the header and let's add a count um, of the SKUs. And this will be able to show you guys the usage of input controls. All right, count, SKU description. So 197. Traditionally, uh, if we needed to change the states, we'd have to refresh the report, you know, pick different states um, and see the wait for the new data to generate. And then see the number right now is 200. Again, if we needed to uh, get rid of some states, I would have to manually do that every time and refresh. Refreshing takes a toll on your database server. You know, it maybe it takes two seconds right now, but in big reports, it may take two, three minutes, and it, you don't always have that kind of time and don't want to wait that kind of time. Let's add a report filter for the states so we get to see how many states data is being uh, generated. Um, so, so it should be just few of those that we selected from the prompt or well, in this case two states Florida and Massachusetts so again let's refresh four pick four states it should show up those uh, it should display those four states or five states here now let's uh, go to input controls and uh, sh uh, see why input control is so useful if you look at the left hand side of the uh, the screen you see data templates map properties uh, we have a new tab called input controls simply click on that tab and click on new we're going to uh, click state or select state from here and uh, uh, click next so two types of input control one is a single value where you get to pick a one value only and you have multiple values for now we're gonna pick single value and click OK so here you see uh, this a state input control is created. We'll save this report. Um, just call it like uh, input controls for BO 3.1. And since we have input control for the state dimension, we no longer need that in our query filter. So we'll get rid of this. Leave the year for now. We'll hit ref uh, refresh so that new data is populated. All right. Let's save this report again. I'm going to close this report because I'm in the modification mode and then run this report as just like a re real uh, regular user. So right click and view and this will get to see uh, or experience input controls the way it's meant to. Uh, on the left hand side now you see this uh, input control uh, field appears. So let's refresh this report so we get all the data and then we're going to play with the uh, input control. All right, data is here. All right, the left pan pane could be uh, you know hidden or uh, it could be dog basically. And if you don't see it, simply uh, tell your users to click on that uh, that little arrow. All right, now the input controls drop down menu for a state. Uh, look at the number of the count uh, on the right. It's changing. We put California 190, DC 171. Now let's pick Massachusetts 81, uh, New York 186. So this is the benefit of input controls. You can now uh, see your data in real time. You could do query filter in real time. You no longer have to refresh your uh, report. So let's go to edit um, query mode and then uh, we're gonna get rid of the year and the, from the query filter, let's uh, refresh this data. So now we're going to have uh, the data without any year restrictions. We're gonna add a new input control and this time uh, let's pick multiple values. We'll do uh, check boxes. And the number of lines uh, here, you could have if you have multiple values, uh, you could pick, uh, you know, how many lines you want to show for now. Three, five is okay. 
So now here again, I'm selecting the years, and you could see that on real time, the number is changing. Um, let's add another report filter for year. Uh, so we could uh, have multiple input controls and see how input controls behave with uh, uh, having multiple input control dimensions. So now um, we'll save this report, of course, and get out and run it as a regular mode. Refresh the report, so you have your state filter and as well as the year filter, and you have the two input controls. So let's pick, um, let's select all for years, and you see the number changing to 186. I'm going to do only 2005 and 6, still 86. Let's uh, only pick 2006, 139. And again, the number and the data is uh, changing dynamically. Uh, real time, you, you're not, you no longer have to refresh the report, and this is a, a basically the data is there in business objects. Uh, it's just uh, uh, filtering out and giving you based on your selection. It's kind of like your Excel CS dashboards. Uh, so we have the state as we pick the state, and we have different years of the numbers, and the data is changing real time. So this is very very handy and. Uh, users uh, and users will definitely like this feature so do introduce it to your existing reports um, and you'll see that it's very benefic beneficial and uh, let's try to edit there's another annoying thing sometimes business objects does uh, this kind of annoying thing like you can't really go back and edit it you can change the single type of value uh, single type of uh, list of value selection and change it to multiple value selection once you actually create an input control so you got to delete it uh, or I couldn't figure out a way to do it. So we'll create the, I will delete the existing single selection of a state uh, input control and we'll make it a multiple. But we picked list uh, this time. So list is very difficult. You have to uh, hit, uh, you know, press the control key, control button on your keyboard and select multiple. Um, and, but I prefer just like the year input control, we have the selection, uh, the checkbox that I find that better. So again, I can't really change the selection type. I got to once again uh, delete this input control and then recreate it. So it may be a little annoying on that, but in overall, it is uh, very useful. So this little minor, um, I guess, uh, adjustments or modification does really hard. So again, if you have this kind of selection uh, where you could just simply ch click the checkboxes, uh, it is very fluid and it just uh, amazes the users. Uh, the end users and uh, at least from my experience in our environment and now let's add and one more and let this be the final input control so we have uh, the categories and you can see how the report is uh, uh, dynamically changing the data based on your selection so this could be a very well replacement or workaround for your Excelsior, Excelsior dashboards uh, I highly recommend you guys start using this in your reports and you will see that users love it. And this concludes our demo on input controls. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.